Hey, let's get back over to Camilla now for uh, an update on the weather. You know, colder, yeah. yes. uh, obviously, than yesterday, but still, you know, it's, we live in such a beautiful place. Yeah. I mean, look at that, right? Yeah. It's, it's not all bad. So, yeah. Absolutely. We're still getting some sun breaks, too, which I think uh, always helps. It hasn't been kind of that, you know, gray, dreary, drippy day. Uh, so here's the view from our Shriners Hospital camera. In fact, you can see where those little pops of sunshine are uh, amongst the clouds. Current temperature 50 degrees in the Rose City. Uh, looks gorgeous up on the mountain. A little bit of white kind of frosting the trees there a little bit from our Mount Hood Ski Bowl camera. So uh, this cooler weather, of course, lowering our snow level. We can take a look at that here. So uh, it's going to be hovering yeah, between like 2,000, 3,000 feet for the most part uh, over the next few days here. So we can certainly expect to see at least a little bit of snow accumulating for our ski resorts as, as long as we're kind of locked in this wetter pattern. This is our graph forecast model. It's giving us maybe eight inches by early Saturday at government camp, closer to a foot there at Timberline Lodge. I think this is maybe on the juicier, the heavier end of that range, but we're definitely going to be seeing something there, which is always nice for spring skiing. Okay, taking a look at rainfall the last 10 days in Portland. So we certainly ended our little dry streak. We enjoyed beautiful sunny skies, dry conditions there for five days. And uh, today we haven't seen much, just six hundredths of an inch officially at PDX. And, you know, we're not expecting much more. Could maybe see uh, something spotty overnight. Rainfall totals so far today across the entire region. Uh, so you can see, generally speaking, for the Willamette Valley anyway, it's been a little bit drier for us up north here compared to further south around Eugene. But pretty much everyone seeing around a tenth of an inch or less in the interior valleys, a little bit more along the coast. but. Not much, closer to two tenths of an inch there from Florence to Tillamook. Okay, so the next few days, again, could see maybe a spotty shower or two uh, popping up overnight tonight. And uh, we are expecting a little bit more of a drizzly day for your Thursday. This is 8 a.m., very light precipitation as we kind of just continue to see this rotation uh, due to a system that's to the south of us. Usually that doesn't produce uh, much rainfall for us. And then we'll be drying out a little bit more heading into uh, Friday morning. So mostly cloudy skies. We'll continue to see uh, some light snow there in the Cascades as well as east of the mountains. Maybe a little bit uh, more showers there picking up second half of the day for your Friday. All right, so here is what your Thursday looks like. Uh, just showers possible throughout the day. Cool temperatures, uh, pretty similar temperature-wise to today. We'll be topping out in the low 50s and we'll see light wind for the most part. Here's that seven day forecast. So not too much changing over the next several days, just light rain at times. I do think Saturday is gonna be our uh, wettest day here of the next kind of handful. Uh, things look a little bit lighter there on Sunday. And then we're heading into a ridge of high pressure, it looks like, for next week. So we should see skies clearing a little bit and high temperatures eventually warming into the 60s there Tuesday and Wednesday.